and welcome to my little workout room. Um, I'm going to be taking you through a few different uh, strength and conditioning sessions. Um, to get started before we do anything, I'm going to try to cover a few different demos uh, for both strength and endurance. Okay, so typically I've got an exercise that I'm going to focus on and there's the endurance version which is easier and the strength version which is harder. There are progressions for each of the exercises um, which I'll demo and the focus on the strength side of things is just to practice these moves. If I know that everyone can perform these moves or is working towards being able to perform these moves then when we can actually all get back together um, and do physical squash specific circuit sessions and stuff on the court um, everyone's going to be on a more even playing field rather than having some people who are far stronger or more naturally uh, gifted in this kind of area than others. All right, so we can get everyone roughly on the same level. Um, okay, so we'll get started straight away. Uh, the format will be, um, like I said, for strength, you're just practicing, okay? So this doesn't even constitute a session. Every time you get an opportunity to do one of these exercises throughout the day, try and do it. Um, the first one we're going to go with is leg movement. Um, you'll all probably have heard of or seen a squat before. Um, apologies if I go out of shot or anything for, for my demos or I'm at the, the wrong angle, so I'll try and do a couple from different angles. But a basic squat um, is done with uh, your feet kind of in line with each other. And whilst it's the first kind of go-to leg exercise, uh, it's quite easy to get wrong. Um, so I'll give you a little demo. By all means do this if you're pretty confident with your squatting. But you wanna make sure you've got some sort of line in front of you um, to gauge so that your feet aren't too staggered. And you're pretty much just looking to sit down into that hole between your feet. Now you've gotta try and keep your feet flat on the floor. Um, you don't wanna see anyone rocking up onto their toes like that. And you don't wanna be falling over backwards either. And you want to try and imagine your knees and your toes staying roughly in the same line. So if I turn my feet right out, then I'll probably find that when I start to go down, my knees are going to go in, my knees going that way, my toes are going that way. Equally, if I go like this, well then I just basically can't bend down without bending forwards. So what you want to imagine you're doing is sitting back into a chair and that your leg from knee to heel is kind of like stuck in some cement. So if you watch me from a side on view, just go this side, um, you should see there's minimal movement of my lower leg from the knee down, all right? So I'm just gonna get my hands up for a bit of balance. There, all right, not too much movement. I didn't bend forward that way. And my intention is to try and, like I said, sit down into the hole that I create between my legs. Now in order to do that, I pretty much roll my thighs out and sit down in that gap, okay? There. Feet are angled out 5 to 12 degrees, and you can just do this for reps. Now, for, if that is difficult, or you really struggle with the coordination, an actual more specific squash style of squat is to stagger your feet. Okay, so if the normal squat is like that, feet in the line in front of me. For a staggered squat, I'll take them a bit narrower so they sit directly beneath my hips. Good way to do this is to put a line um, somewhere between your feet, like down here. So anything that will split your body in half between the legs. And then just walk forward into a lunge, but keeping your feet flat on the floor, either side of this line. And then what you want to do is, I, I try to go as far as I can get without my heel coming off at the back or without my body turning open so that that foot is now facing over there. Okay, so as long as both sets of toes facing forwards, my foot's flat and that's the limit of my back leg capability to stretch, I'll then come up onto the toes and I'm now just gonna go directly downwards. So my knee should just go straight down and I should have two 90 degree bends like that and then back up, okay? I'm trying not to go forwards as I lunge. Again, try not to equally go onto my toes. It's just back foot toes, front foot in through the heel, 
Straight up, straight down. Doesn't matter where your hands are really. Put them on your hips, check your hips aren't tilting backwards and forwards. And just try and drop yourself directly down and back up. Okay? This is much easier to coach and execute. And it's more specific to squash, okay? So one of those two will form our endurance exercise. You should be able to do quite a few reps of that um, when it comes to it. And then I will pause the video here so we can split the videos up and we'll move on to the strength version of the squat, okay?